This playthrough is rated T for teen. Are you ready for a jungle trap? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome well, back here with another episode of Front Mission 4. In the last episode, Elsa and the crew left the port after their encounter with the enemies. And then, uh, in a weird twist of fate, we didn't stay with them very long. We switched back to Daryl and the crew. And it seems like Elsa is now aware of Daryl. And uh, she sent out a message to him through uh, Johnny Boy. Yeah, I, I finally... I remember he did get a name, but I was just kind of joking before I remembered it as Johnny Boy, that radio guy, and, uh, well, hopefully he'll survive. But right now, Daryl and the crew got to deal with these uh, um, troops, those uh, Venezuelan troops near the village. we got to take them out with the help of our new ally, Tham Thamond, or Thamond, or whatever. And he did start with two machine guns. However, that's going to be shortly gone. Although you could stick with him as being a machine dual machine gunner if you want to go that way similar to Bosch or something like that but uh, Thamond has got a different role to play and uh, unfortunately he's going to need the EP for it which we don't have enough right now because the last battle only gave us like only gave us like a handful of EP so we're going to have to spend a little bit of money to do this and it's one of the few times I would customize a character outside of their normal build despite the game letting you do that but this is how I'm going to do it anyway so we're going to get support skills for Thamond, Thamond right now we won't be able to afford the EP plus which is what we want We'll sh we should get enough from the next battle to get it. After that, this will help with our build. Because uh, you're going to find out here in a second what I'm going to do with them. And uh, let's go to the shop. Because I don't... Well, actually, let me let me check and see if I have the uh, the arms available to do this. I don't think I did. But let me check and see. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. At some point, I'm going to have to go through and sell my old parts and everything with that actually that's really soon that's actually like in the next episode we'll finally get the next set of equipment and probably be good for the rest of the game for the most part but that's gonna be that's gonna be a long episode just because of all the customizing we're gonna have to do with that so uh okay so we want to go to the bonzer part shop and the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mess with Th uh, thamond that's all we're gonna do so all right let's give him the com 200 arms we need this because uh we need um a little bit less weight for what we're gonna do and the calm arms are the best oh yeah uh i don't know if i talked about them on like what he comes with he comes basically with an upgrade to the husky mark IV and the husky s which is a pretty good mech so if you want to just leave them them on as is you can stick with him and this mech for at least until we get the next set of parts but um and i'm gonna leave him with most of those parts for now um but we're gonna do a slate. Oh, that's the name of it, Abominator. However, since we've named everyone else in the game, and uh, I'm gonna call him uh, Fat Man because not because he's overweight, although he probably is a bit rotund, but because of what we're gonna have him do, similar to similar to like what uh, another character of our group is. And we've already, uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, I think we're good with that. So yeah, I forgot to name him last episode. So. Okay, we're going to the shop. We just need to be the buy that Calm 200 arm. Like I said, if you don't want to do this build with Amon, I completely understand if you want to just stick with what he's designed for. Um, but this is how I'm going to do it, just for the fun of it and all the work we had to do to get to this point. So, And like I said, I'm doing a low, you know, low grinding build, so I'm trying to make it more efficient without having to go out of my way to do this. So, All right, so what we're going to do is remember that final Minotaur arm we had? Yeah, we're gonna give him the final Minotaur arm. Yeah, I gotta remember to take off my weapons because uh, we can't use the machine guns at this point. So, yep, we're gonna have two two guys only working on their one arm and nothing else on their body. So, yep, just like before, the Minotaur's got the bazooka and rockets. Now, right now, he's only gonna do base damage because he doesn't have the build for it and he doesn't have the ability for it. But he will eventually. This is where a good deal of money is gonna come in because we're gonna. Um, one of his builds is to make him basically similar to Inez, so we're going to give him, you know, rocket and uh, bazooka build and stuff like that. Um, if not, build him. If you don't want to do Thamon like that, you might want to build him similar to, to Bosch would probably be the best way to go. Um, maybe not exactly, because Bosch is a little bit more, got less HP on him. He's got more of an evade, while Thamon is more like being able to get in the thick of things, but that's pretty much it. Let me double check my notes, make sure I did everything I wanted to with him and I think that's all I wanted to do is yeah buy support skills get him EP well I can't get him EP plus but I want to get EP plus if I can and uh yep that's it so it's time for battle so against the um against this loose group of Venezuelan state troops which luckily it's not the Zaftran so I should go back to those soon remember the plan Thamon thank you for coming to help us don't get me wrong, son. I have come to help you, to help gorillas fight the little war. I've only come because I don't want to see you and Inez die. 
Oh, he's like the father of the group, or the grandpa, depending on how, how old Thamon is in the grand scheme of things. He seems pretty old. Looks like they're ready, too. Yep, they are. <laughs> Thamon, because of the way I build him, stands out completely out of the rest of La Alianza. Listen up. We have to hit them fast and hit them hard. Do not let any of them escape. And he's not he's not being uh, hypothetical or, or just whatever. He's being realistic. We need to actually not let any of them escape. Because uh, there's a secondary objective to this. Like, when you first start, it's take out whatever. But after you destroy, like, I think it's like three units, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Um, you, uh, they, the rest of them uh, try to run off. So... All right. Let's, uh, actually, let's do. Actually, let's go a different way on that. Okay, Schaefer there. Uh, I guess here. We there. Inez, we'll put uh, over here, and they're all right here. Although it doesn't really matter too much. And then Thamon or Thamon gets put over here. Really, not much choice. And we get Lolly ends up Mark II, I guess. Uh, we got Antonio, who's a, ba a sniper. Christina, sniper, um, and they've got Type 150s. They're the the mechs with like four four legs, which will be helpful in this fight specifically. Got Cornelio or Cornello, I guess it's Cornelio. He's our grenade type, somewhere to Antonio from the previous group. Which what happened to them? Mm -hmm. I, it's assumed that maybe they died saving the other group, but we never hear. I, well, I'm trying to remember if we ever hear from him again. I don't think so, actually. But anyway, we got Leon, who's our the assaulter, you know, the machine gun wielder, and we got Jose, who's the meleeer of the group. So, okay, let's set these folks up. Antonio, put the snipers in the back, keep it male hardy. No. Um, Yeah, just because Antonio's got, or uh, Cornello's got really poor. Oh yeah, it's drizzle, so slight, slight uh, effect on. Uh... Now the thing about this map is that it's not obvious at first, but th these hills right here are considered difficult terrain. So if you've got normal two legs, they're double the movement when you move on them. Same with this one as well. Um, um, the four-legged movements of our snipers here, they, they because of the way that their legs work. They, they don't have very good evade, but they can move through difficult terrain with no problem, so they, they don't cost the standard one. Or if you have flying units, you can fly over that as well, but I generally stay away from the flying units because they've got no evade, period. Even the four legs at least have some evade, it's just not that high, but anyway. Okay, let's see if we can get a couple of good, uh... Might have to move her through the... through here instead, maybe. Let's see what we can get. Get a couple of good shots. We can't hit everyone, but unless there's a way to get any, any more of that, probably not. I'm just trying to see if I can hit a good deal of them. Nah. Well, I mean, the this guy is resistant to the fire anyway, so the only problem is that moving, if you move Inez too far out, she'll, you know, she has to move through difficult terrain, although I'm probably going to be using her for rockets for the most part in this fight. Oh yeah, make sure to leave everyone on piercing. I didn't change anything from the last fight, but I forgot to mention that, so. All right, and yeah, Thamon will, uh, will need to definitely help these guys out because they don't, unfortunately, these guys have no links at all, so they can't help coordinate in battle. Um, oh yeah, I guess I should go over the enemy since I started fighting him, whoops. Okay, so we got um, got a couple of assaulters here who's I think linked with the, um, yeah, with the mis uh, missile launcher, or uh, uh, he's uh, got, um, Grenades, sorry. I don't know why I said missile launcher. He's got grenades and light buster knuckles, but he's probably going to do any damage with that. Grenades, if you don't have any resistance, um, he'll do like 300 to your... 300 roughly. So like 100, or like 200 to your body and less to everything else or something like that anyway. Um, yeah, he's in a Valiant model. Got the assaulter here. Lived with that guy. No skills. Machine gun will do like... Without any resistance, do like you know 13, 14 damage, but we got resistance, so we'll stick to about eight. So he's not really much of a threat, not for our group anyway. Got another assaulter. He's linked with his two fellows here. This will help with the 
objective that we want to finish for the battle. Like I said, they'll run away after like two or three units will be gone. But same thing, no skills, but he is linked up with the mailers. Got another salter here linked up with those guys. This guy weirdly, it's on this group. It's kind of weird because like you think they would all have the same skills, but this guy is in slightly different mech. He's in a moth, which means he's got decent evade. Uh, but he's got rapid fire and block 10. Uh, but he's uh, linked up with those two guys. This guy has charge and plus two to melee, so he'll do like 110 damage or something like that, give or take. Um, same thing, charge. And then we've got another assault over here, linked with a missile here. Uh, basically, La Alianza's job is basically just, their whole job is just to take these two guys out. Um, Hamon, that's what Hamon's there for, because they'll take him forever to take it because they don't have any linking opportunities. And if it gets really bad when they start running away, then Thamon will try to rocket them. The problem with Thamon, right as as he's built right now, has like no, not enough AP to really utilize the rocket part of it. Um, he's there mainly for the bazooka part because if if he's uh, moved around correctly, he can basically get maybe two shots in with a bazooka if he can, which will do a decent amount of damage. Uh, we want to go after Lolly Enzo. Wants to go after the gunner first before anyone else. So. Okay, and then we want to just kind of move forward and take on who we do, so uh, you have to be careful about it. It's hard to dictate. I think the the mountain, I think, gets difficult terrain about right here, if I remember correctly, so. Put you there. Schaefer will put you there. I think someone will probably try to attack him, which will, it'll put him in a good spot because he'll be hit behind some trees, so it'll be, uh, so he'll get some uh, possible avoidance. So. I might go after Daryl as well, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, this fight isn't really that difficult for the most part. Uh, I mean, I guess the most difficult part of it is the... Um, I guess I went after Daryl this time. Oh, well. I probably, if I didn't move in that close, I probably would have went after Schaefer. Not that it really matters. They're not going to do much damage. Not the uh, machine gunners aren't going to do much damage. I mean, if there's really any challenge to this map, really, it's the... If you don't do enough damage to these guys when you get the when they get the full retreat, you may lose the fight because of that. Uh, we should be able to finish this in like maybe seven, eight turns, give or take, depending on how we uh, move and everything like that. So, okay, but yeah, we want Lolian to take care of the um, gunner first or assaulter, however you want to. Ah, not a good start when you're already missing. So, what is? I forgot what their evade is. It's Nine plus whatever their legs are, which their legs aren't that high evasive, maybe like 25%, something like that. Um, yeah, let's try getting them in different. Let's try spreading out a little bit, mainly for the, the grenader. Ah, just a straight miss. Huh? Man, you're like a, what was it, Jose or whatever his name was? Or no, Punch. God, he sucked. Um, okay. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. This is why you need to help with Thamon. Or Thamon. Whatever. I'm going to keep changing like, my pronunciation of him. Yeah. As they just move, actually. Well, I mean, their grenade's going to hit a lot of us anyway. No matter how much I spread out my forces, it's still going to hit us. No matter what we do. Um, actually, let me get a little bit closer, but not too much, just so I can actually restore. Because the Thamon's... Um, his charge is like 10, I think, but he has 12 AP, so, or something like that. Um, oh no, his AP is 14, but his charge is like 12 or something like that, so I want to make sure he gets his charge in. Yeah, unfortunately we are attacking him for the front, which is not a good idea in retrospect, but not much I can do about that just because of where they're placed. Okay, Daryl. Yeah, we'll just have to, we'll have to move him into double tear. Well, actually, I guess I don't technically have to. Schaefer's in a pretty bad spot right here. Uh, yeah, we could move him over here. Or at least... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, we'll leave him there. So that way we can get... Actually hitting him. Yeah, didn't get any, didn't get any abilities unlocked though. Oh well. All right, let's have you keep grenading the crap out of everyone, or rocketing the crap out of everyone. I mean, let's see, can we get? 
Well, I'd rather prefer her weakening these guys. These guys are going to be the biggest threat when it comes... Oh, I can move one more. Because she's mainly going to be using rockets for the most part on these guys. Yeah, I could. Yeah, but we're going to be in, in combat with these guys for most of the time, so I'd rather, rather put all my eggs into these guys. So, so that way, when they start running away, I can just start blasting them because they'll probably be weak so um, let's see I'm just trying to think if I want to just move the Rengas or if I want to try and snipe them and yeah, I better move closer let's see what happens nice Daryl can mail him got enough yeah, maybe I should have uh, not shotgun him just because uh, he won't have enough for um, Louis to. Uh, uh, oh. I mean, I could put him in front. Yeah, but I don't. I'm trying to. Let's see, what's your facing like right now? I only get him one attack, though. Yeah, we'll just hit him from the front. Well, I was hoping to get his legs, but. And luckily these guys are, yeah, eventually moved towards us. Well, except one of them for some reason. Yeah, he might be the problem child in this case. Yeah, this fight is really not really about the damage so much. Just because of how they're going to be moving and grooving and everything like that. It's really just being effective enough to stop them from running away. I like how they're, not every objective is destroy everyone. I mean, they usually are destroy everyone, but I mean, like... There's a caveat. Oh, you destroy everyone, but it has to be within this time. Otherwise, you know, not gonna make it or something like that. Hopefully, your grenades don't do that much. It hurts, but I mean, it's not. Since we're always fighting the two guys, man, you guys really aren't moving towards us, are you? It's gonna make it annoying for uh, Inez. Let's see if we can hit you. Yeah, we can hit you even more. Keep rocking him. Keep firing, jerks! Well, I know what the real line is, but, uh, you know. Alright. Let's see. Might have to move someone for this one. Yeah, I'll need to move you. Alright, I need to use, move Tham Tham on. I could move in the back and try to get, um... Try to get him closer to these guys to help with rockets if it really comes down to it, so. Nice bit of damage. Looks like it's all going to the legs in this case. Yeah, too bad these guys build their their grenaders like realistically you most people would, which is like basically not high move legs. But that's how they do it, so. Luckily, with these guys, since I don't have to worry about linking, I can move them there by full movement and stuff like that. And basically, I'm trying to um, get them to sur basically surround them and force them to like not, well, not get as defense, uh, not get as evasion if I can help it. Um. Yeah, I keep switching over to them, <laughs> even though that's not what I want them to do. Should be behind enough to. There we go. Ha! Ah, now you can't dodge anymore. Now we don't have to worry about worry about placing and everything with like that for the most part. Um, how do I want to do this? I may have Louis go first, and uh, maybe I'll be moving him. Yeah, I don't mind moving him into the mountain range. Ooh, got his leg. It finally gave him that rapid fire under all this time. It's not like you were going to counter anyway. No. Oh, well, maybe it would have been. Not bad. Um, let's see. Can you hit? I 
guy there. Can but... I was trying to put him in a good position where I could like if Daryl hits him, we could see if we can counter, and then I could try to attack him. But that's not gonna really he'll probably miss. I'll just use that turn to have have him attack him so Daryl can if he misses, uh, or whatever, I can have Daryl finish him off and then go after the missler. Or it was 15%, cool, whatever. I didn't realize it was going to be that low. I thought I saw it being higher, but apparently not. But Alright, that should be off. Maybe? There we go. Yeah, I didn't realize. I think it was because of Daryl being there. It was 15. I could have swore it said like 80 or something, but I must have mis misread the situation, so... Yeah, I think one more, as soon as the other guy that uh, Lolly ends up will be attacking, as soon as they get killed, or as soon as they kill that guy, they'll start running. So. Ooh, nice, double assault. Yeah, you got, you're pretty beefy, dude, but that's fine. Gonna try to attack me, which you might hit, but it's like nothing. It's it's like nothing. I will break you. Um, uh, a bit. Daryl up. All right, let's see what happens. Huh? Weird, uh, weird spot to like just charge to, but okay. And I actually don't mind them not being able to dodge this fight because, frankly, like I said, it's not that difficult, so. And if Thamon, if Thamon could use the rockets, he'd have to basically move, do, like, nothing on a turn and basically hopefully hit a guy within his turn limit because of, like, because he has barely the AP to even shoot the dang thing. This is why we build Inez as she is with all the AP and everything like that so she can actually do stuff. Don't worry, Thamon will eventually get like that. It'll, just, it'll cost a bit of money, though. This is what I've been... Other than, obviously, building it for the Mac, this is a lot of the things I've been building my money for, so... Might be time to move Inez in closer to the uh, group, so maybe she can, may assist with the bazooka. Because she can get a rocket and a bazooka shot in if, if she moves right and everything, so... But for now, we'll keep... Uh, actually, I might, actually, I might want to stay back, oddly enough. I might not have enough room for the rocket. We'll see what happens. Let's see. That would hit everyone except Chafer would get hit. But I can move him back if it really comes down to it. And she's, well, as long as I don't hit this guy, it'll be fine. Like, she won't counter because it'll be way too far away. So, actually, let me see. Yeah, it'd only be the missler, so I can leave her right there for now. So, yeah, Schaefer, Schaefer will move you back one. Heal the good. Good Daryl. Down. There we go. Yeah, we can have as much as we can before, before we destroy that one thing. That way, when they run away, we'll just be able to just one-shot them. They're probably pretty close to death. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, how many rockets does she have? I think she has like two or something like that. Yeah. Two rockets left. And I, didn't, I decided not to refill my thing after doing that, so... Yeah, you move pretty slow already, so I can probably... The gunner's probably the one I'll have to worry about the most. We'll have you... Let's see. Actually, might not... Well, no. Yeah, no, we'll move you first. Yeah, we'll move as far as we can. Why not? Yeah, but you only have... Mm, that's right, you're uh, impact resist, so we'll attack you. Do this to me, game. Don't be a dick. Yeah, don't don't dodge my attack normally like you would. Oh come on! Not fair, dude. Not fair. Oh, that's not good. I do more damage than that anyway. Oh boy, I 
love it. Okay. And let's get you in there as well. Yeah, I gotta take out your legs, dude. Let's see if we can try to get a snipe in on his leg. Well, snipe is a final, like, last turn type of situation, so. He'll probably dodge, but we'll see what happens, so. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. That's fine. If he misses, as long as Daryl hit the legs. Now you're not going to dodge. Okay. Cornelio, Cornelio, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I probably should have saved his turn for last, but because of how everyone maneuvers, I almost like doing the grenades slash missiles first just to see where things are. Well, missiles I can save whenever, but grenades, because of how man people will probably maneuver about. Although, now that that guy can't dodge anymore, now it doesn't really matter, so. Uh, yeah, I might want to try getting the other... Um, sniper characters towards this group, so if it, if it gets so bad that I, like, they get a pretty good mile away, these guys will be able to, like, assist in, um, uh, uh, sniping them. Whether they hit or not is a different breed of cat, but... Well, we'll see what the rest of the group does first before I, uh, continue on, so, since that guy can't dodge anymore, so... Yeah, not gonna do as much damage, but man, just can't get that little bit of last bit of uh, damage, can you guys? Make sure to hit. Yeah, I was hoping to save. Well, no. Nah. Oh, there you go. I was actually thinking, like, maybe I should have him on, like fight him and then they'll have the rest of them hit the missile because the missile will uh, has resistance to his fire attacks but whatever yeah I'll have Thamon just slowly move towards this direction so he can help with rockets if it really comes down to it well then now well, he isn't like doesn't have the ranks in it so it makes sense yeah so we got a couple turns I said turn seven is roughly where we're gonna have these guys finished if we can. Oh yeah, now I know why that guy was dodging so much. He was the um, the Heisen mark, which was a higher higher dodge rate than the others, so. Yeah, move on in. Come on, come on a little bit closer, lovelies. Oh, she was the only one that was like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to hit that rest of the group. They're in too in deep with everyone else. So. Okay, good. You're all close together, so I don't have to worry about. Um, although, pretty much rockets, I think, are pretty much done for the rest of this fight, at least from Inez's point of view. So we can have her assist with actually hitting in combat with us. So. I mean, she could probably do still do rockets, but um, okay. Buh, 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 buh. How do I want to do this? Let's see. Yeah, she can't hit that guy, so I'd rather have her assist in like maybe one of these other guys. I mean. Technically, I could probably get a rocket in. It's just, like, how much of a headache would that be to, like... The only problem I have with rockets is their is their range, which is good, but as soon as you get into combat, then it's like... Uh, let's see. She can move... She can shoot three times per combat, possibly, as long as I move only, like, two spots. So, oops. And I wanted her to be... be able to maybe hit this guy if it... It says 94%. Oh, I thought there was a bush there for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, um, let's see, who's she? Okay. We'll just have her. He's fire, so it doesn't better on that one. I'm just trying to think who would be the best target. Probably this guy, because he's so beefy. Yeah, let's uh, work on a guy that could possibly run away if it, when it comes down to it. No, oh, cool. Just dodge all my attacks. That's fine. Whatever. I, I, I didn't even need that anyway. That's fine. 
Your, your dodge isn't even that good as the other guy. Yet you dodge like no one's business. hit him, so I could probably move him, like, here or something like that. We have multiple opportunities. We should be able to hit him. Oh, he must have had a pretty low hit from there or something. Oh, well, that's fine. Ow. Especially if you don't hit, my head should definitely finish him off. They're starting to retreat. We must not let them escape. Wow, you don't see Thymon do his, uh, do his worried look every once in a while. Drizzle, morning, destroy all enemy units. You must not let enemy units escape. But at this point, we're pretty much, pretty much gold for the most part. Eh, they might have, well, I guess it wouldn't really matter. I was about to not snipe, but I'm like, you know what, they're probably not even gonna attack Ringos anyway, so. Should have a yeah, be able to hit. Him. Yeah. Nice. At least she hit with one thing. Her hit isn't that bad. I just hit her against a high evade target. That's all. Mm, yeah, I'll do a machine gun for this guy. Oh, another reason why I didn't want to have like all my um, rockets gone is because if for some reason that one guy moves too far away and I can't get to him, I want to be able to just straight up rocket him in the face and be like, okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, you got one more thing, and I don't really need to heal. So I might just, uh... I might as well, I mean, you're gonna get punched, but... I actually know if I'm not my movie, so... I might as well get a little damage out of you. Alright, I'll we'll finish you, you guys. This guy will probably be finished off pretty quickly. Since Thamon doesn't need to worry about, like, um, going to, over to the other side, I can just worry about just straight up just surrounding this guy and attacking him, so. I mean, he's got a lot of HP, so it might take him a turn to turn, but... We'll see how well these guys hit. I mean, he can't evade. It's just, you know, normal, like, the weather and everything like that, so... Get their get their licks in before uh, before Thamon goes. It's kind of weird to do that weird twist with the spider thing. Almost kind of creepy when you think about it. So. Just want to make sure I get a 99% hit. Move just a little bit closer, just so I can get him. As best a shot I can. Rage. And that's a beefy guy. And with no links, I can't get extra damage out of it, so. He's kind of wobbling about. Yeah, he grenaded us, but whatever. We gotta catch him. Same with you, but like I said, not really a big, big deal. And you moved just far away from Corelio or whatever, kind of um, can shoot him without no problem. Thanks for that. Yeah, I didn't listen to it, but still. Double. That'll 
work. I might have bail on finish him off. Or not. I was gonna have him finish off so he could get with the like help the kid with his EP or whatever, but that's fine. Eh, fame was probably too far away to really shoot that guy with a bazooka. Actually, let me see if he would have been if I moved him just far enough away. No. Yeah, might as well move full movement. We'll leave Lolly into the alone at this point. No, no, no point in uh, worrying about them. Um, let's have Daryl. I might have uh, Louis go after after him soon. Yeah, let's just point blank him. Got multiple people that can help with that if we get down to it. I was about to say, someone's going to finish him off, for sure. Okay. Yeah, Louie will get you over there. Now, can I get him with two machine gun shots? If he doesn't dodge. Oh, now he can't move, so now he's no longer a threat, so... For <coughs> there. That way, someone's just kind of generally in play. And. Actually, probably could have sniped his arm, but I want to make sure he's not going to move. And yeah, Shaper will have, uh, we'll have you assist with uh, some damage. I was hoping we'd get a link up so he could do more damage. Ow! Oh. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna end. <laughs> they could help, but I'll just leave it as is. Okay, you wanna punch her in the face, huh? Yes, yeah, Thamon didn't get much in the way of uh, stuff during this fight, I'm just gonna have him finish off. Uh, this guy. I don't think Louie's close enough to help with uh, that last little bit, is he? No, he's too far away. Okay. Leave him alone. And Inez's EP is way too good at this point. We don't. We, we, she is good at all. And I think Chaper got a really good thing show of it earlier, so we're going to have uh, uh, Daryl finish him off. Even though he's not bad for EP either. But. They're done. Yay! Now uh, let me look at my score here, really quick. Let's see, money-wise, um, six thousand. So we got a bit over that. Nice. Eighteen is what I was looking for. And yeah, Thamon got a little because of where he was at. He got a little shafted, but luckily I have enough for EP plus, so that we're going to easily make up for that um, loss sooner than later. So don't worry, a lot of EP will be getting used to here soon. That's all of them. Good riddance. Good. Let's go back to the village. Oh, we finally get to hear Thamon's voice. Uh, he's voiced by I forgot his name. He's voiced by the uh, the the anime I remember him from is from Cowboy Bebop. He voices um, Jet uh, Jet's English voice actor, but I forgot his uh, his voice actor name. I've heard him in quite a bit of anime. If you need that, like either old guy or tough old guy, they usually went to him. Wait, something is coming. Shoot him. Oh, Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy? Is it really you? Huh. We saw you near the beginning of the uh, UCS campaign. You! You son of a gun, I knew you were still alive. What are you doing here all by yourself? What happened to the rest of the UCS troops? I don't know. Our retreat from Caracas was a mess. They hunted us down like a pack of wolves. I haven't been able to get anyone on the radio since I lost contact with my company. <laughs> they all did. Then I saw you guys and I thought I had made it back to the UCS lines. Eh, too bad for you. Now we're going to capture you. Oh man, I hope everyone's alright. 
It's War Chafer. They're probably dead. Hey, that reminds me. I got this weird message for you. Yeah, some chick, uh, some French chick was hounding you down. What do you owe her money? A message for me? We should get out of here before more of them appear. There will be plenty of time for chit chat once we get back to the village. <laughs> Thamon actually has a sense of head on his shoulders, unlike most JRPGs where they have full lines of dialogue and books written and talked about kind of like Fire Emblem where they talk in the middle of battle. But he's like, yeah, we can do this where it's somewhere safe, not where we're getting attacked on all sides. But if we go there, we will be putting everyone in danger. Oh, yeah. As things stand now, the only safe place for you is the village. Don't worry. The people there can take care of themselves. Well, they lived out in the wilderness with for a long time, so I guess that's true. It's settled then. You come with us too, Johnny Boy. You deserve the rest. That is, if it's all right with you, Thamond. Thamond. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, they can take care of themselves, but can they take care of themselves in front of two-ton or ten-ton mechs, Vonzer mechs? I don't think so. He looks pretty harmless. An extra head shouldn't make a difference. Oh, okay. Well, come on, Johnny Boy. You've got a part to play, apparently. Despite your name not saying Johnny Boy in your description, but uh, Radio Man or whatever it is. But will they be able to get Johnny Boy to the village and uh, prepare it for whatever is to come? And what about Elsa and the crew? Have the uh, have the EC made a decision regarding the UCS and what our implication with dealing with that will be? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 4. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.